Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> I remember now. I remember everything. We used to be humans. Normal humans. Just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere. And then we came here. They wanted to turn us into weapons. So they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us. Eventually they succeeded. They managed to create a perfect weapon. The name of that weapon was Number Six. But soon they lost control of Number Six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify Number Six and seal it away. So they created me. I'm Number Seven. I'm. I'm a weapon. Weapon or no weapon, you're still a meal to us. Thank you. Let's just take a few steps back away from the weapon though, just in case. Alright, let's trigger this. This is number six. She's my sister. This thing is alive. My sister is the greatest weapon ever made, and... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Hmm? If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up... ...my original self becomes lost. I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. And if that happens... No! Wait! Then I want you to kill me. You have to get him out of there, now! I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else. Well, this is not what I expected from a meal here. This thing's way too quick! I mean, this is doing good damage to him. Hurry! There's still time to save him! I know there is! Magic is the only way to damage this one. Oh, even better. Oh, don't like that. a slow dodge. Crap, I'm eating way too many here.
Why am I not doing any damage? Has it got to be on the head? Come on, buddy. Holy shit. Emil, we're coming for you. Come back to us. Just gotta do it with this again. Are you all right? I'm still alive. I feel my sister's power inside me. I think I can control my abilities now. Yes, we're all quite pleased. Now get out here already. Just a second. I can't... I can't see very well. Oh, he's gonna um, look completely different here. No, don't! Don't look at me! Neil, what's wrong? Stay back! Oh, we're going in. Good God. <laughs> a lot but my my body i can't stand to be with you when i look like this what i tell you we're here for you no matter what <laughs> Can you see my face? You... You look just like I thought you would. You look really cool. Right. I... 
I think I'm okay now. All right. Well, that was a cool ass scene transition, especially knowing, assuming that ties into the Nera Tomata Emil and the amazing Emil's song. All right, kid, you're now my favorite character in the game. If this is how I look now, then so be it. I was terrified at first, but it's not all bad, you know? I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to us. Emil. We should hurry. She's waiting. I sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her. You know, in fear? I see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor. reminded about something from my past maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time anyway What about the monster in the basement, though? <laughs> the beast approaches! Oh, I know. Bigger now, beast. What anger this creature must have. How did it even survive these past five years? I'm not gonna let this happen again. It dies today. I saw it. It's lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down. I to dodge that. That's probably the best I was getting, honestly. Okay, this is it. Or not. Oh, hey. 
You were the one calling me, weren't you? You still recognize me? Of course. I knew you right away. Thank you, Kaine. Welcome back, Kaine. Wow. You grew up. So... How long has it been? Five years. <laughs> Shit. That's a long time. She likes me. I can tell. The look she gave me just then. We're at Burn. Any luck with Yona? Oh yeah, about that. I kind of uh, misplaced my sister. We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long, petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. Oh, oh no, the cast in a meal out. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. This is a goddamn outrage. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. Yep, to our nice comfy beds. Let's go. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. Really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine in Emil's situation myself. Agreed. Sleep well? Sure. 
And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. transition.